Welcome to Python. My name's Tom Coffing. I'm so excited that you're here. This is going to be a great investment of your time, and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to be a great Python programmer. When I first took on this project, maybe I'm like you and said, you know, this could get pretty deep. Maybe I'm going down a path I can't return from. I'm a little frightened, frankly. And as I watched and learned Python, I said, this is really easy to understand. There's a lot of little rules, but once you've got those down, and I'm going to show you those, and we're going to run exercises together, you're going to have this down to a science. First thing you're going to need to run your Python is some type of Python code runner. I suggest Nexus. Go to this website, www.coughingdw.com. Select software then Nexus, and then click the click to download Nexus trial button located here. Fill out your profile, download the Nexus, and then when you get that loaded and installed, you just hit this little button right here, and it's going to bring up Python, and you can run your code and see your answer sets right there. Python was created by Guido Van Rossum back in 1989 during a Christmas time where he said, you know, I wish I had a product or a project to work on. And he created a product from the project. And that was called Python because he loved to watch Monty Python's Flying Circus. So the name stuck with him. He said, huh, what will I call it? Python. It's portable. You never have to change any language or code of this. It's going to run on almost any type of platform. And since 1989, when it was developed, it's developed into one of the top 10 programming languages. And Guido is just heralded as some type of superhuman. He has been given the nickname of Benevolent Dictator for Life because he's so loved by the people in the Python community. Let's get started and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know until you're a Python expert. You're going to learn a lot of Python keywords and something you need to remember is that they're always lowercase. If you capitalize a letter, it errors. But there are three keywords that you must capitalize only the first letter. True, false, and none. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.